In structured cabling terms, a horizontal channel consists of all the cables and patch cords that make up the connection between the active equipment at the work area, for example a PC, telephone, printer and so on, and the active equipment in the telecommunications room. When designing the horizontal cable runs, it's important to know the maximum permissible horizontal cable length, as this is a section of cable that the installers will be pulling and terminating. At first sight, the table in the International Structured Cabling Standard looks extremely scary. But if we take one example and break it down into its component parts, we can see that things aren't really that complicated. Let's say, for example, that we plan to create a Class E channel using Category 6 components, with a cross-connect in the telecoms room and including a consolidation point. Following down and across the appropriate column and row gives us the formula H equals 105 minus 3 minus F times X minus C times Y, where H is the longest permissible length of the horizontal cable. F is the combined length of all the patch cords or jumpers, equipment cables and work area cables. Let's have a 5 metre work area cable, a 3 metre patch cord and a 2 metre equipment cable. X is the ratio of the cord cable insertion loss to the fixed horizontal cable insertion loss. Supposing this is standard UTP cabling, then the insertion loss for these cables may be anything up to 50% higher than that of the horizontal cable. In this case, X will equal 1.5. C equals the length of the consolidation point cable. For the sake of this exercise, let's make C equal to 12 metres. Y is the ratio of the consolidation point cable insertion loss to fixed horizontal cable insertion loss. Here we've decided to use a single-ended Category 6 patch cable, so Y will be 1.5 again. So now we just have to do the math. H, which remember is the maximum permissible horizontal cable length, equals 105 minus 3, which is 102, minus 15, which is 87, minus 18, giving us a length for H of 69 metres. If you'd like to find out more about structured cabling, visit our blog at techsupport-cabling.com.